Hello YouTubers, how are you? This video is specially for the home studios, for the audio engineers, for the guys who record at uh, their homes, amateurs and professionals. I've been searching for a good, if not best, audio interface on a USB to be external and to record good, to have a good accuracy at the audio recording. So I came up with two names, the Steinberg and the Tascam. Here on the table we have two great products of these companies. I bought first the UR22 Mark II from Steinberg because as you guys I look on YouTube for reviews and I document a lot to see which product is the best for me and my attention is directed to the sound accuracy. So the first product that attracted my attention compared with all kinds of other brands was the Steinberg. You know Steinberg it's a German company that makes a great uh, pianos, great music instruments and man when I test this uh, sound card I was amazed with the sound accuracy the, with the clarity of the uh, wall, the bass, mids and heights in my opinion are perfect but there's a catch the test cam is not bad it's a new model we will compare two audio interfaces um, this one is the new model the test cam so it's a high resolution I had great expectations of this we will see if the product is good the test cam it's a model uh, launch at the end of 2020 you can say it's a 2021 a new model and this one it's a three-year model the Steinberg uh, UR22 Mark II before we begin this review guys I want to tell you a big problem that I'm confronting in uh, Romania with the customs of DHL Bucharest who blocked a couple of products of mine one of which it's a latest product of the Xiaomi company the 70 May brand to make the long story short uh, 70 May sent us product to, to review them and uh, two of them returned to them because DHL or DHL uh, returned the product keeping me five days in the customs in the Bucharest and they invoke a motive you have to pay to them a commission you have two possibilities one it's uh, the DHL commission of uh, in Bucharest for them to pay the custom fee to the Romanian state this is the first procedure. The second procedure is to pay with your EORI code. It's a special code, custom code. And you can pay free directly to the Romanian state on their account, bank account. So the Hashel, if it's uh, seeing that you want to choose the, the option 2, they will block your product and they will make you procedures that will slow down that process and they will block your product or they will return the product to the sender, original sender. I explained to them that I didn't buy the product and will send freely by the uh, manufacturer to review that product. And the product sent free just for that video on our channel. And the laws of the Romanian state says that customs cannot keep and must give you free that product who is not bought and who is sent as a gift from the sender. So I explained them this and for years that they make me trouble instead helping me because I run a good uh, weekly show and uh, I promote Romanians and instead they block me and make me uh, all kinds of troubles for this uh, our, this fee is like 20 bucks so they demand to see a receipt and I explained them that I don't have a receipt they demand in many emails, in many phones, I explain them once again, two times, three times, four times that I don't have a receipt. They eventually told me that I don't give them a receipt. This is the first problem. And the contract between me and the company who sent me the product, they will not give me the product and will return it. So to give them something unexistent, it's an instigation to the falsehood. So I made a charge. Guys, I'm telling you this because I want to attract the attention and the public to know these problems that I'm confronting for. Guys, to continue, I see a fellow on YouTube that it's good, it makes technical stuff about these products, but no one talks about the sound accuracy of uh, these sound cards. I know that there are a lot of uh, details presenting on YouTube, but this on the musical, uh, the accuracy of the instruments, the reproducing of the instruments, I don't see people, YouTubers, talk about this. Let me tell you how I bought the Steinberg. 
the UR22 Mark II. First, I compare it with the Behringer UMI C204 HD. And this, it has more greater accuracy, but the background noise, it's better at the bearing gear. So I, mean, I was not interested in the background noise because it has a small background noise, the Steinberg, but the accuracy of the sound was more, not only clearer, the accuracy was higher. At the, almost, I can say the high end sound at the Steinberg. And when I see uh, it's a good sound card, believe me, this is a greater sound card. I know there's a C model, it's a UR22 uh, C model, it has the same background noise, both of the Steinberg version have the same background noise, it's too bad that the C version didn't cut off the, a little bit of the background noise. And comparing with the Focusrite Scarlett 2E2, with the Roland Duo Capture EX, with the Behringer, uh, 204 i told you as i uh, was talking uh, earlier the steinberg ur22 mark ii its best the c version has improved are small improvements the um, dynamic range is better at the c version so i was wondering if testcam us2 x2 high resolution is better and i saw that the background noise was better I look at a guy named Julian on YouTube. It's uh, the boy is good, but it doesn't talk of the music accuracy. I think this is his weak spot. And I think in the test cam that he presented, uh, if it's good, I saw that uh, between the Mark II and the, this model, uh, this the test cam wins at the lower background noise. It was three times lower. The background noise was. Uh, lower three times so I bought the test cam I wanted to see because I want I am looking for recording the voice and I want to record the vinyls with this yes you can record vinyls and you can even use it as a sound card for your devices you can do multiple tasks with this external devices interfaces so guys I will not do an unboxing and let's see the devices and I will tell you which of these are greater at the sound accuracy as you can see guys both interfaces are quite the same this one is smaller from steinberg this one is bigger it has a little bump here that will make more practical at the buttons but how often will you use these buttons in our recording you will do the settings and that's it both have 48 volts both have two inputs you can record two separate microphones or one microphone one guitar or you can record in stereo mode uh, a turntable for example or you can record from a computer using two jacks in stereo both have picking that will tell you if your sound is uh, is crashed at the ages you know both have pickings from uh, separate to each channel to see if the sound is distorted both have aligned output phones and you can input uh, from the computer DAW or uh, directly on the input. In the back, they have audio out on the jack and the MIDI. The test cam has a USB-C and the Steinberg has a USB 2.0. This is not relevant. This will not help you to the sound. USB 2.0, it's enough. It's more than you need. So the USB-C, I don't see a point to the USB-C. It's practical. I think everyone now has cables with the USB-C. The test cam, it's louder than the Steinberg. And uh, it's the background noise, it's also lower from the Steinberg. But this one has until 20 kilohertz and the Steinberg has 22 kilohertz. This is uh, another catch. If you are uh, paying attention to the, our human ear, you know that our human hearing is until 20 kilohertz, 20,000 hertz. So theoretically, that difference won't be noticed. But the Steinberg at the musical curse, the clarity of the sound, it's better than the test cam, even if it's older, uh, three years um, music interface. And the C version, it has a little bit of uh, more dynamic range than the M Mark II. And both of them supports 192 at 24 bit.
The Steinberg, it's a brand of Yamaha company that you know Yamaha makes good quality premium products. The Tascam is a brand of tech company, you know the tech players, you know the tech products were good also. Both products come with the Cubase LE and the Tascam offers some plugins, the Sample Tank 4SE. What was weird to me when I tested in Adobe Audition? Well, the Tascam um, showed a level on a right channel three times bigger than the Steinberg UR22 Mark II. But at the hearing of the sound and the processing, I uh, raised the levels of that hiss. It turned out that that signal was weaker than the test cam. I don't know exactly what... Uh... And yes, the background level is uh, three, two times, three times lower. But do not imagine is non-existing. This one has a uh, noise. For example, if you want to use it as a trick with the turntable, you will hear that hiss. It's not that powerful as this one, but it's there. I'm trying to say that I'm an audiophile for myself. I'm uh, looking for the best products. Uh, this one are in the range of 150 euros, 200 euros. This is the range of theirs. And the sound of the, the Steinberg equals product as up as 500 euros. And I'm not exaggerating one bit. Guys, I recorded with the both products a sound, but it's copyright sound, so I will try to put uh, small segments I will not have problem if I will put small segments of that tracks just useful to hear a couple of seconds you will notice the difference between them because this is the real deal to hear the difference between them I guess you were lost when I met you Guess you were lost when I met you There you are, wild and free There you are, wild and free So I hope you like this review guys I didn't saw any review between this uh, model of Steinberg and the test cam even from the C model It wasn't a comparison so now you know what to buy If you are not looking for a low a background uh, noise go directly to the Steinberg if you want music accuracy of the accuracy of the recorded sound and the playback from your computer it's a great sound card it's two in one if you want a low background noise go directly to the test cam because it's a good um, external interface but in high resolution i think it's high resolution but it's not near to the high end uh, the Steinberg it's near to the high end or even a high end recording device of course there are a lot of uh, usb interfaces more expensive ones but do not think the differences are huge in 2021 the products are too near to the high end uh, you will see more and more companies will come up with the products that will reproduce the sound perfect in marketing you know the product has um, the launch of the product, the growing, the maturity of the product and the decline of the product, the death of that product. So in Steinberg, if you are buying expensive products, expensive, uh, they have some uh, more interfaces, they will have a lower background noise, but the music accuracy will be quite the same the differences are very small or you can hear them with your ears you can uh, notice them with the special um, electronic equipment measuring these products so please thumbs up for this uh, video guys so to be fair to you guys if you think i didn't sell something in this review uh, or if you have a different opinion a constructive opinion please write in the comment section so subscribe that button guys put the notification bell 
and encourage other people to subscribe to this show guys because we have great tutorials ideas uh, we, we even have some inventions so hope you are doing well see you on the next tutorial or review we are at technology reviews you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives see you guys have a pleasant day bye